What is up everyone, Viviv here, and welcome back to another episode of Competitive Pokemon. I am here today with a, the t feardest, powerful Godzilla lookalike there is, Tyranitar. Tyranitar can be used in a lot of ways, and this is why I have decided to use Tyranitar in this episode. So let's, without further ado, do, let's get started on Tyranitar. People usually bring rock Tyranitars and or stealth rock users. So I honestly created my own kind of Tyranitar. I don't know if people use this or not, but I think I honestly use it quite a lot. It is a stealth rock, stone edge, earthquake, and dragon tail user. The stealth rocks you set up and dragon tails just to hit them and send them away, then send out someone new and just switch it like that to get your damage off. Uh, it is rocking 252 in HP, 252 in uh, attack, 4 in special defense, and it is a atom in nature plus attack minus special attack. So, holding leftovers and ability st sand strength. Coming up next is honestly something that I've seen in VGC a lot to stall out or to screw over the lander, the intimidate landeruses. A Choice Scarf Special Attacking Tyranitar. Special Scarf Ancient Power Dark Pulse Ice Beam Dragon Pulse. Set this up over. You get Ancient Power. Ancient Power. Get that 10% chance. And if someone decides to trick off your Scarf or Knock Off, you still can outspeed most likely with the stat upgrades with this. Mine, it is a Timid Nature plus speed, minus attack, 252 in special attack, 4 in special defense, and 252 in speed. It is holding the Choice Scarf, Special Scarf. Coming up next is the ban is Band, the Tyranitar. I put 100 in HP, 252, and yes, you can see the Nate wants to battle this. And I've been watching Nate wants to battle a lot lately. Um, 252 in attack. To 156 in speed, it all a minus special attacking, making it a jolly nature plus speed minus special attack. Band, I think I might try this out one day. I, I, I I've seen it used before by my friends, and I just think it's honestly incredible. But the stats are honestly my idea, and I hope it can work. We have the special scarf, so let's try out the physical scarf. Physical scarf holding the choice scarf. Sandstream, Dragon Claw, Earthquake, Stone Edge, Ice Punch, 252 in, spe in attack, 4 in special defense, and 252 in speed, making it a Adam and Nature plus attack minus speed. So physical Scarves could be used a lot, plus that Choice Scarf getting the 1.5 times to the regular speed, so we could have a big scary Tyranitar. Coming up next is Specs. A modest nature, four, 248 in HP, 8 in special defense, 252 in special attack. Minus attack plus special attack, making modest nature, holding the choice specs, ability sandstream, ice beam, dragon pulse, flamethrower, and dark pulse. This is honestly could be scary to say at least because people will probably be expecting scarves. And you got Specs. So, that can also scare a lot of people in many ways. Coming up next and finally is the mixed... Is the mixed um, Tyranitar. Holding the Assault Vest, Earthquake, Stone Edge, Dark Pulse, Focus Blast. 252 in Attack, 50 in Defense, 156 in Special Attack, and 50 in Special Defense. And minus Speed, plus Attack, Brave Nature... And I just think this could honestly be a big threat because people would be expecting, once again, scarves. And they could switch out and you could just get an earthquake or something off. So, oh, yeah. Um, I honestly think Tyranitar is honestly one of the most scariest Pokemon to deal with ever. Because it was honestly one of the most scariest Pokemon to see when Pokemon originally came out. And it is still honestly is one of the toughest Pokemon here today, outbeating like the new hard 
hardcore looking Pokemon like Greninja and Landorus T, um, Yvelto, Zygarde, um, Noivern, Hyraxorus, it just, Hydreigon, it just shows that no matter how old you are, you could still be the most scariest thing there is. And Tyranitar has proven still that he is still the most scariest Godzilla there is. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments below, what do you want me to make a competitive Pokemon out of? You want me to do Altaria, um, Chansey, Blitzy, um, Vivlion, Lopunny, Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur, Superior, or Ariados, Galvantula, whatever you want me to do, and I can make it for y'all. But um, don't forget to hit that like button, and don't forget to leave a comment, let me know, and don't forget to that subscribe button, because it honestly makes me a very happy guy seeing people subscribe to me. But um, thank you guys so much for your time, and please have a wonderful day. Ha oh wait, before, before, this Pokemon we'll see bait was called out for by one of my friends, Merrick Knock. He is part of the Delta Battle League, and before I end off here, the we Viviv Pride will not be making it to the championships. I am terribly sorry. Viviv Pride won't. And I lost all the recordings I had for the Delta Battle League, but next season we will be ready for the Delta Battle League. Vivian, Vivid Pride will win next season, and I can promise that. But anything else, have a wonderful day, have a very good day, and goodbye.